I have talked about Representative Andy Ogles several times over the course of the last few months. He's a Tennessee congressman, a real uh, Donald Trump uh, aficionado of uh, the grundle butter of Donald Trump. Don't Google it. <laughs> uh, a real ass kiss, brown nose, lap dog, sycophant, yes man, worshiper at the throne of Donald Trump. That's who he is. And uh, he has now endeavored to impeach Vice President Kamala Harris. And I don't think you might in initially nail the reason. And there's, it's a long shot at best, but it does involve removing Joe Biden from office and Kamala Harris from office, obviously, forcing her to enact the, the, the invoke the 25th Amendment to get rid of Joe Biden. So if we lose Joe Biden, we lose Kamala Harris, who's left to be president of the United States? Mike Johnson. First, let me, let, me, let me give you this. This is Article 2, Section 4 of the United States Constitution that covers uh, what qualifies for impeachment. What is, a, what is a reason or a set of reasons that one might be removed from their position as president of the United States vice president of the United States, or a civil officer. This is what the text reads. The, the, the president, vice president, and all civil officers of the United States shall be removed from office on impeachment for conviction of treason, bribery, or other high crimes and misdemeanors. So pray tell, Andy Ogles, what high crime, misdemeanor, or act of treason has Kamala Harris committed as vice president of these United States? I mean, I would say I'll wait, but it'd be a long wait, dipshit. Uh, I'm gonna read a little bit from this Daily Beast article. I would encourage you to read the whole thing. It, it, is, it, it is in depth, but this covers a Republican plot to try to interfere and get someone into office that was uh, neither elected for that office, uh, or has any business near it. Republicans see fit to make him Speaker of the House, though. This is the Daily Beast headline. This Republican representative is already trying to impeach Kamala Harris. Two days after Vice President Kamala Harris declared her candidacy for president, a freshman Republican lawmaker introduced articles of impeachment against her for violating her oath of office. You're going to hear... In the coming months, now that it seems Kamala Harris is the nominee for the Democratic Party, that she is the border czar, a position to which they named her, apparently, because she's never been named the border czar by anybody. Her job was to see the underlying causes of migration from countries in South and Central America. That was her job. Had nothing to do with securing the border. Had nothing to do with anything related to the border specifically. But tangentially, what are the root causes here? What, what American policies do we have in place now that may be contributing to it? Or what policies could we enact to uh, diminish the flow of migrants seeking asylum, economic asylum, political refuge in the United States? Rep. Andy Ogles, Republican of Tennessee, filed articles of impeachment against Harris on Tuesday, claiming she, quote, demonstrated extraordinary incompetence in the execution of her duties and responsibilities, a stark refusal to uphold the existing immigration laws, and a palpable indifference to the people of the United States suffering, 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 as a result of the ongoing southern border crisis in the United States, unquote. <laughs> the same day, Ogle sent Harris a letter urging her to invoke the 25th Amendment, and this is where the plot begins to thicken. On the same day, he sends her a letter urging her to invoke the 25th Amendment, which is a set of uh, prescriptions constitutionally for how a president could possibly be removed if they are of diminished capacity or no longer able to execute the duties of president of the United States. All of which we have no evidence that Joe Biden cannot do. It is just a ploy to try to get a Republican 
into the presidency without actually having elected them. Again, uh, the same day, Ogle sent uh, Harris a letter urging her to invoke the 25th Amendment, Fox News Digital first reported, which will, would allow the vice president to take over temporarily or permanently if the president is incapacitated for some reason. Uh, Biden announced he had COVID on Wednesday. Doesn't mean he's not able to <laughs> execute the duties of his office. Final paragraph here. If both Ogle's moves were to succeed, something that almost certainly will not happen, House Speaker Mike Johnson would assume the duties of the presidency as the third in line. That's what this is about. Obviously, it is a fool's errand. It's not going to happen at all. There is no cause for impeachment. There is no cause to invoke the 25th Amendment. This is more chaos. If, if you remember the, the, the thumbnails that I showed you earlier, that I flashed up on screen of uh, the, the videos recently and the, the, the topics that I've had talking about Andy Ogles. He is a chaos agent. His, he thinks his duty is to honor Donald Trump. He's a George Santos type. So all this is for attention and for chaos, but certainly for attention from Donald Trump. He wants Donald Trump to see him, to know he exists. He would love to just touch the hem of the garment of Donald Trump. This is where we are with the Republican Party today. Without a doubt, just agents of chaos. They're not doing their jobs. I was going to do a video today, but I decided not to on, on Lauren Boebert trying to reduce the salary of some civil servant for, to a dollar because they trolled her online. The, it is attention-seeking, it is chaos, it is do anything except the job for which you were hired. Do anything except advance the agenda of the American people. This is what they're about. This is what they'll be about if you elect them back in November. Look, uh, we face an existential threat to our country, and it is the Republican Party, the largest white supremacy organization on the planet, a supporter of domestic terrorism, the party of seditious conspiracy. There have been convictions. It's, it's, it's just the way it is. And you've got members like this dipshit attempting to cause more chaos, so more discord, drive us further from progress for the American people that I just spoke about. It's what it is. Get rid of this guy, Tennessee. Do, do, do your job and let's stop electing stupid people to high office. What do you think? I invite your participation in this conversation. You can click the join button below if you wanna help support this work, help me make these videos. Uh, it is uh, the join button for two bucks a month. If you're in a position to do so, I would appreciate it. You can also go over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. Um, look, a conversation about this is certainly warranted. If you live in Tennessee, I want to hear from you. Uh, we could do it in the comments. You can call, leave me a voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. If you're on social media and you're just... Uh, a follow is just burning a hole in your pocket. <laughs> uh, you can send one my way. I'm at Dollamore on Twitter and Instagram, threads and TikTok and Facebook and Blue Sky and all of them. I'd love to see you there. Uh, be genuine. Take care of one another.